Now let's practice with phase lines and slope functions again, but this time we're going to go from the phase line to the slope function. So here's a phase line, essentially the y-axis of a differential equation dy dt equals f of y. And the arrow directions indicate the first equilibrium, nearest the bottom is the source, the second is a sink, and the third is a node. Earlier I made an incorrect drawing, and that's why I've scratched the material out here. I didn't want to redraw the whole diagram. So here's how you recognize sink, source, and node for a phase line. If we translate this to a slope function, we need a function f of y for our differential equation that has three equilibrium points. I haven't indicated the orientation on the y-axis, so I just place them before, after, and after y equals zero. And to represent a source, the first equilibrium point on the left is the lowest equilibrium point of my phase line. I indicate negative slope before, down arrow, and positive slope after, up arrow. So that's a source. Sink is the opposite. Positive slope before, up arrow, negative slope after, down arrow. When I say negative slope, I mean the value of f of y is negative. Last equilibrium point, the value of f of y is negative. Before the equilibrium point, that's negative dy dt, negative slope. And the value of f of y is negative after the equilibrium point negative dy dt, negative slope, with negative values of slope on both sides of this equilibrium point. This is a node. Remember how you recognize sink, source, and node in a slope function. Descending through an equilibrium point is a sink. Ascending through an equilibrium point is a source. And just touching an equilibrium point below or above without crossing, those are nodes.